Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring them out of bite-sized pieces. Today, we've got some news which is very concerning and is a warning, just like the thumbnail said. So first up, U.S. court authorizes IRS to seek identities of taxpayers who have used cryptocurrency. And this is going all the way back into 2016. And if you haven't done anything with your taxes right now, this is the time to start because of what is going on. So we'll take a look at what is happening there on top of Joe Biden dumping in $80 billion to help crack down on taxes. And finally, we'll take a look at a nice little piece, which I think is extremely bullish. Crypto analytics firm Coinmetrics raises 15 million and Goldman Sachs leads the funding round, which is kind of surprising because they've also launched a new Bitcoin derivatives, which is even more amazing because just a year ago, they were saying that cryptocurrency wasn't even an asset class. So we'll take a look at those great stories, but first let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So today it is uh, May 6th and uh, we were just around 2.4 trillion and we just had a little bit of a drop off the last half an hour, but hey, things are going pretty good in, in quite honesty. So we've got, Bitcoin, roughly around 56,200. Let me blow this up so you can see it. Actually, it's up a little bit in the last hour. 0.56 uh, Ethereum, around 30, almost 3,500. Binance Coin, impressive run, 7% for the week. Dogecoin, even more impressive, almost 100% uh, in the last seven days. And just so you know, Elon Musk will be on Saturday Night Live this Saturday, and he's been tweeting like uh, nonstop. So we'll see how that price actually goes up. I was like, I just hold, I just throw my hands up and go, Dogecoin, if it goes a buck, goes a buck. I mean, I can't even predict that. That's crazy. XRP, watch out. Dollar 61, getting up to there in the, those, those high numbers, almost $2. Cardano, Tether's Tether, nobody cares. Cardano, uh, $1.61. So congratulations, Cardano holders. Maybe that news of everything that's going on in Africa and Ethiopia and them signing contracts with the government is actually paying off. So that's looking pretty good. Bitcoin Cash is also up bigly at almost fifteen hundred dollars i actually reached out to i reached out to danish chowdhury over there at bitcoin.com just to uh say hey man what's going on with bitcoin cash he's like and he sent me some lame cnn uh, article i'm like you gotta be kidding me danish but uh who knows uh there are some good things i'm sure you probably know so let me know in the comment section but bitcoin cash holders i am one of those so congratulations and everything is up pretty good so looking pretty great i like what's going on in the, in the market one thing I don't like is something we're going to take a look at right now, which is taxes. So I know it's not a very sexy topic, but I want you to remember this. It's not what you make. It is what you keep. I am nobody's dad. Uh, well, that's not true. I am somebody's dad. But uh, I'm, no, I'm not here to, to be like that father figure, like, you got to do this, you got to do this. Look, I've been on the ropes with the IRS before. Just don't fall in that trap. That's all I'm going to say and uh, they're getting ready to crack down. So U.S. court authorizes IRS to seek identities of taxpayers who have used cryptocurrency. What's going on? Well, a federal court in the U.S. has authorized the IRS to survey John Doe summons to the crypto exchange Kraken. And when I saw this, I'm like, not so bad. But I remembered, I'm like, oh, they also did the same thing to Coinbase. And if they did that to that one, probably Binance U.S., probably a Gemini. And if they really want the information, if it's not being already given, they're going to get it. And that's just how it is. So if you think like, like some, some people in the, in the comment section, taxation is theft. And that's what cryptocurrency is for. We don't have to pay anything. You can think that, but uh, the government thinks different. That's all I can tell you. The IRS is seeking information about taxpayers who conducted at least 20,000 worth of transactions in crypto. I'm like, oh, okay, that's not too bad. But that's from 2016 to 2020. So in the last four years, did you transact $20,000? Because if so, they're going to have your information. And as a U.S. taxpayer, this is only for U.S. taxpayers, just so you know, uh, when you fill out that form, uh, 1090EZ or whatever, what, what, whichever one you have, and at the very top it says, did you at any time purchase any virtual currencies? Yes or no? If you say no and don't report it, well, they're like, <laughs> but that's funny because we just went to Kraken and Coinbase and here's all the things here and da 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 and, it, it's right there. So uh, you, we're going to find the hell out of you. And that's what I don't want, you, want to have happen. And then to finish up, those who transact with crypto must meet their tax obligations like any other taxpayer, uh, Assistant Attorney General David Hubert of the tax division. So that's a bummer. Here's the thing, though. I wasn't really too worried about it because the IRS was kind of short-staffed. They were actually, uh, there was a reduction in numbers over the last four to six years, uh, for whatever reason, they just, you know, just didn't really put a lot of time and effort into it. And if you made less than $100,000, uh, your, um, your percentage of getting uh, actually taxed was much higher because it's a lot easier to go 
crackdown for people who don't make that much because they're not, they, they know they're not going to lawyer up. They're not going to do much. So they're just going to crack down on them. However, Joe Biden came out and said, look, I'm going to give the IRS $80 billion to beef up the IRS auditors of high earners. So some people are asking me like, well, why would he do that? Why would he put $80 billion? Because if you can put, if you can put 80 billion and get 800 million, wouldn't you do that all day long? That's what they're banking on. So all these different high earners and people who like, a, you know, move things around and they're like, you know what? You want to lawyer up? That's cool because we got an army behind us and we'll come at you. Now, does that mean like uh, the big, big, huge people are going to get taken down? Probably not. But if you're making, I don't know, any, a million to 10 million and below, just watch out. And that is the whole thing today. So this is a warning. If you haven't done it yet, time to do the taxes. I'm, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just telling them what I did. And here's what I did. I use this thing called CryptoTrader.tax. And before I move on, thanks to CryptoTrader.tax and I trust for sponsoring this video. It was pretty appropriate actually, guys. And uh, CryptoTrader.tax is what I've used two years in a row. And what's great about that is the time that I open it up to figure it all out, to put all my transactions in because there's a direct API for all the different uh, exchanges, except for Voyager, just so you know, it's gonna take a little bit of time to get that, that spreadsheet. Uh, it, get, it pulls it all in, I send over my CPA, done. And then this year, I'm waiting until May 17th, uh, my CPA is finishing up and then off it goes. I've used it two years, works flawlessly, quite honestly. Uh, so, and that is, that I did a video about how to use it. Uh, you can watch that, there's a link in the description. Also a link in the description is 20% off. And on top of that, you can also sign up for, uh, they, they draw every week uh, an unlimited tax report, which is $300 uh, value. So you can sign up for that or just what I would do is just, I just, got it and then did it and that was it. So there's that piece. And if you don't like paying taxes, like nobody does, uh, take a look at uh, iTrust. So iTrust is a crypto IRA. And I did a video on this one too. It's about 20 minutes long and it goes over between traditional IRA, SEP IRA, Roth IRA, and how that all fits in and how it's tax-free. And what's great about that is the crypto that you actually put into this crypto IRA, you're going to be able to uh, get that out as it gains tax-free for all the gains. On top of that, if you put in things like Cardano and Polkadot, which is what they offer over there, you can stake them within your crypto IRA, and then those rewards are also tax-free. So it's like a double whammy win. So uh, take a look at, uh, I'll link the video again uh, in, the very, in the description. And again, if you have a 401k, a 403b, a TSB, or anything like that that you want to uh, cross over, reach out to these guys over at uh, iTrust. Use Washers of Dan. They get a uh, uh, month free for uh, the service. And then you can ask them all the questions that you want to. I just sat down with them for like 30 minutes and did a, a, a phone conference, and they answered all my questions. So that's it. That's what's going on. So let me know what you think in the comment section, and let's move on to our last piece. So this one was kind of funny. I do love these stories and I guess I cannot stop reading them because it just goes to show you, you know, how far we've come. And what's going on here is uh, crypto analytics firm CoinMetrics raises 15 million and Goldman Sachs lead the funding round. I love this part. So the company CoinMetrics provides analytical marketing data, indexes and network risk solutions for digital currencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, all that stuff, right? In addition to Goldman Sachs, it was also bolstered by Collab Currency, Castle Line Ventures, Highland Capital, uh, and Fidelity Investments. So there's some big names that need a lot of data pertaining to cryptocurrencies digital assets. So why would that be? It's because they really want to go in hard. There is no reason for them to put this much money into just data, just to take a look at data and just go, okay, where is our, not where is our entry point, but where can we get in where we fit in <laughs> to actually, you know, offer this, these services to our clients and then we can make a gob load of money. And that's why they need the data. So that there's no other reason than for them to do that. I mean, that's how it seems to me. So for many years now, Goldman Sachs has been invested in the innovation crypto solutions and blockchain tech provides. Let me read that again. For many years now, Goldman Sachs has been interested interested in the innovation crypto solutions that blockchain technology provides. Sorry, I thought I said invested. I'm like, that's not even remotely true. Uh, and then lastly, it says, and this is from Matthew McDermott, global head of digital assets of Goldman Sachs, which I guess they got a, a guy there, global head. Data is critical for the mainstream adoption of crypto assets by traditional investors and financial service players. Our clients will greatly benefit from CoinMetrics institution-grade data insights 
and emerging risk management tools. So again, they want to get all their people on like, you know what, these cryptocurrency that's, that's super hot, guess what? We've got a way to evaluate that. We can help you out. We can put you in these types of platforms. Don't worry, come to us. We have all the answers. You can trust us. We're Goldman Sachs. And that's pretty much how it goes down to, which I think is, is pretty uh, hilarious. Uh, and at the same time, this happened just right now. Goldman Sachs launches a new Bitcoin derivatives. And uh, so they started offering Bitcoin-backed non-deliverable forward contracts to Wall Street investors. And the new derivatives product was quietly, quietly introduced to Goldman's clients last month. Of course, they're not going to announce that because we're just the small fries. We're just the small retail investors. They're not going to talk to us about this. So it's not, don't look at what they say, just look at what they do. And this is what's going on, which I think is very interesting considering the fact that in the past, <laughs> this was just May 2020, roughly a year ago, Goldman Sachs, Bitcoin and other cryptos are not an appropriate asset class. But yet they did all this data. They pulled all this information. And they're like, you know what? It is, it is. Yeah, it is, it is not a appropriate class. Unbelievable. So that's pretty much what's going on. I want to make this a little bit uh, quicker of a video. We did two videos uh, in the last 24 hours. Uh, the one we just did this morning, we took a look at uh, zero trade. I'm gonna link that also at the very end. And uh, if you're looking, because for as far as decentralized exchanges, if you're using Uniswap, those are high fees. I like zero trade because they're using not only Ethereum, they're using uh, Avalanche, the Binance uh, smart chain. They're also going to have an NFT platform. They've also signed a bunch of different deals and they're working with uh, implementing uh, Polkadot and another uh, big cryptocurrency project as far as a chain to swap pretty much everything. And um, just take a look at that. Uh, this video today it was pretty interesting. And then also we did another uh, video yesterday uh, over at uh, Dan Clips. And just so you know, Digital Asset News is just going to be the news, uh, just a little, you know, maybe some some things that are like uh, we talk about with the DEXs, but for like the small time, smaller projects that are just getting started and things that are just a little more advanced, we're going to put them over on Dan Clips. And uh, we just talked to the CEO over at Permission.io, uh, the ASK token, which is uh, ranked number 813 on the market cap, uh, as far as market caps go. And I think it's gonna be uh, something to look into. That's all I'll say. So uh, you can find the link to Dan Clips. You can either do a search or just go into the description. All the links are there. And that's it. So first of all, thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like that type of video, go ahead and do me a favor and uh, hit the thumbs up, like it. Uh, consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about are very time sensitive. And that's it for today. So enjoy the weekend. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.